hello in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to find out cut length of bent up bar so let's get started first of all let's look the definition regarding what is bent up bar or crank bar okay you can say it as bent up bar or crank bar now bent up bar is also called as crank bar and it is provided to make rcc slab safe from compressive stresses okay now here in this picture we have this bent up bar you can see it is starting right from this position and at this end it is going downward and then continue at this direction so this is basically called as crank that's why it is called as crank bar or bent up bar okay and uh, the function of this bar is uh, uh, to give rcc slab safe from compressive stresses okay so let's move forward and let's see how we can find out cut length of this bar now next to it this is basically close picture i'll let you know about this as well and uh, let's move forward here you can see this is basically the bent up bar okay this is our slab okay right from this position up till here this black line and this one this is our slab and thickness of this slab is six inch okay at this end and at this end we have beam okay now let's look about the given data first of all uh, we have dia bent up bar as four number dia of this bar is four number now next to it clear span is six feet clear span is basically in twin dimension between two beams okay this is basically the clear span and it is six feet next to it thickness of slab we have six inch you can see over here uh, thickness of slab is six inch okay and uh, then clear cover is 0.5 inch okay uh, you can see over here clear cover right from this position up till here it is 0.5 inch and bend length is 12 t this is basically 180 degree bend and length of this bend is 12 d okay so this is given data now let's look about the calculations over here what is the formula to find out cut length of this bar so formula is clear span okay the first one mean into a dimension between two beams plus crank length okay so this is basically crank okay and uh, in clear span we have took this dimension already okay we have took this dimension already okay so right from this position if i draw a arc okay up to this position we have took the dimension now the crank is basically right from this position up till this position this is basically crank length formula 0.42 into h okay and uh, this 0.42 is basically for 45 degree angle if the crank is uh, the 45 degree angle then you can take this formula so here in our case it is 45 degree okay so this crank length right from this position up till here it is 0.42 into h because we have two cranks so we will take 2 into 0.42 into h now it is very important to understand what is this h okay what is this h now h is basically depth of crank okay right from this center up till this center okay so let me just zoom in it little bit and i'll let you know about how we can find out this edge okay this is basically right from this center up till this center this is basically called as edge now we know that the depth of this slab is six inch okay in order to find out this edge we need to detect concrete cover at this end and concrete cover at this end okay then we need to detect half dia of this bar at this end and half dia at this end so it will make full dia okay so from 6 inch we need to detect first 0.5 inch and then 0.5 inch and uh, this is also 0.5 inch okay so half dia at this end and half dia at this end it will make what 0.5 inch mean h is equal to 4.5 inch okay so hope you understand what is this h okay so here the calculations are depth of crank will be equal to slab thickness minus 2 into concrete cover from both ends okay uh, minus dia of bar mean half thickness at this end and half thickness will make the full dia okay 
now when we'll put the values over here means 6 inch and the thickness of slab minus 2 into concrete cover minus uh, 0.5 inch mean dia of bar it will give the value as 4.5 inches okay so hope you understand this one now important thing over here is if you have 45 degree angle then you need to take this value 0.42 into h but if you have any other kind like 30 degree angle then you need to take this thing okay 0.27 into h and if it is a 60 degree then 0.58 into h okay this is basically this length because we have already take this length okay so this is the length right from this position up to this position okay now next to it uh, we have next one this is clear span plus crank length hope you understand how we can find out the crank length plus breadth of beam okay breadth of beam this one and then we need to detect the concrete cover from it okay this concrete cover okay so breadth of beam minus concrete cover plus 2 into band length 2 into we have two bands so we will multiply it with 2 2 into band length minus we need to detect uh, the bands over here so here uh, we need to calculate how many bands we have for 45 degree we have 1 2 3 and 4 bands so 1d into number of bands mean for 45 degree and for 180 degree we have two bands this one and this one as well so it is 4d okay into number of bands 4d for 180 degree so this band and this band is for 180 degree okay so this is basically the formula in order to find out cut length of crank bar now let's put the values over here 72 inch clear space 6 feet means 72 inch in inches 12 multiply by 6 okay it will make what 72 inch plus crank length 2 into 0.42 because angle is 45 degree into h we have find out already okay then breadth of beam minus concrete cover so 2 into because we have two beams okay this side and this side as well 2 into breadth of beam is 12 inch 1 feet mean 12 inch minus 2 into concrete cover from both ends okay next to it we have 2 into band length as well 2 into 12 d dia bar is 0.5 inch and then we need to do the band directions 1 d into number of bands 1 d is the dia bar and we have 4 number of bands for 45 degree and then minus uh, 4 d into number of bands so 4 into dia bar multiply by number of bands we have 180 degree as 1 and 2 bands okay so again 72 inch plus 2 into 0 0.42 into h we have find out the value over here okay and the rest is same so 72 plus 3.78 inch plus 23 inch plus 12 inch and then we need to detect 2 inch and the 4 inch as a bands okay so the total length over here is 104.78 inches okay for this crane bar and in feet it is 8.73 feet so this is how we can find out uh, length of crank bar okay hope you really understand how we can find out the crank bar okay length it is very important because in slab calculations in our bbs uh, we will find out all of this okay so in order to find out over there you need to understand the process over here it is very important okay you need to just uh, understand this formula over here uh, you need to understand uh, this h over here okay you need to understand this crank length over here okay and the clear spanner everything over here okay so hope you really understand the session i'll see you in the next